guaranteed his safety. Now, we're talking business. Let's talk business. Yeah, let's talk business, Mike. First of all, you're all done. The Coyote family don't even have that kind of muscle anymore. The Godfather is sick, right? You're getting chased out of New York by Bazzini and the other families. What do you think is going on here? You think you can come to my hotel and take over? I talked to Bazzini. I can make a deal with him and still keep my hotel. Is that why you slapped my brother around in public? Oh, no, that, that, that was nothing, Mike. Now, now, uh, uh, Mo didn't mean nothing by that. Sure, he flies off the handle once in a while, but, but Mo and me were good friends, right, Mo, huh? I got a business to run. I got to kick asses sometimes to make it run right. We had a little argument, Freddie and I, so I had to straighten him out. You straightened my brother out? He was banging cocktail waitresses two at a time. Players couldn't get a drink at the table. What's wrong with you? I leave for New York tomorrow. Think about a price. Do you know who I am? I'm Mo Green. I made my bones when you were going out with cheerleaders. Wait a minute, Mo. Mo, I got an idea. Tom, Tom, you're the conciliary. Now, you can talk to the Don. You can explain. Just a minute. The Don is semi-retired, and Mike is in charge of the family business now. If you have anything to say, say it to Mike. Mike, you don't come to Las Vegas and talk to a man like Mo Green like that. Fredo, you're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Your word is the key power to everything, to unlock everything within your world. It's keeping your word, and... Your word means everything as a man. This separates boys and turns them into men. You know what I'm saying? So, what I understand is, you know what I'm saying, as a kid growing up, I was always a jokester, you know what I'm saying? And that led me to be into trouble when I was a kid. You know what I mean? When I was in high school, <laughs> when I was in high school, I was that kid who was like the class clown. But I'll flame anyone in the room. No one's safe. I don't give a fuck if it was the teacher either. Teachers caught strays all the time. My classmates, if you was laughing a little too hard when I was flaming someone else, I'm on you next. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My homies, they getting it left to right. They shooting them jokes right back at me. You know what I'm saying? The teacher comes, try to stop us. We both look at the teacher. Get to flaming the teacher and shit. Bro, I swear to God. We was them stupid little kids, right? But do I regret do I regret it? Of course not. Like it was actually really fun and I why would I regret that? You know what I'm saying? I learned from my lessons. But your word is everything as a man, you know what I'm saying? That is why as you get older you lose like that sense of maturity or you know what I'm saying, you lose that sense of childness and gain maturity as a man. And noticing that whatever you say you must do or act upon, right? This is where I understand that you know what I'm saying? For the mere example of gaining respect and honor is your word. Your, wo your word equals respect and honor. You must live by your word and do everything that you say you're going to do. So a perfect example of this was, especially in high school, and even so now, some of my homies, like if we're playing around, we would always be like, yo, ah, slap the shit out you. Like, ah, slap the shit out you, right? And that's where I stopped. I stopped saying that shit because I realized, like, we're just joking around. I'm not going to actually slap the shit out you. But sometimes I would have to actually slap the shit out you. You see what I'm saying? But understanding as you get older, your words mean everything. So if you consistently joking around and saying around your friends that I'm going to slap the shit out you, they're not going to believe that you're going to slap the shit out of them until you actually slap the shit out of them. You see what I'm saying? So... This is why if you are going to say something, you must stand upon it and you must mean it, right? So now, if you're a random and you're talking crazy or whatever, and I tell you stop or whatever it is, and I say, yo, stop before I slap the shit out of you, and I look at you with a serious face, and you don't stop, I have to go slap the shit out of him because I already said what I was going to do. And if I don't do what I said I was going to do, I'm looked at as phony. I'm looked at as, as a pussy in that aspect of, okay, I'm telling him, if, I, if he don't stop talking, I'm going to slap the shit out of him. And I don't go do that. What type of man are you? That's a bitch-made man. That's not a real one. You see what I'm saying? That's why, as I got older, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll joke around with my friends like that. But other than that, you're not going to hear me joke around other people with that like that. Or call them certain names or whatever it is. 
you know what I'm saying? It's growing into like a man and becoming, I guess, more not super stoic, but understanding that your words mean everything. Meaning that if I say I'm going to show up at this time every day, I'm, I better be there at this time every day. And people respect people who stand on the word and, you know what I'm saying, they are deemed as valuable who, you know what I'm saying, the man who actually acts upon his word. If he says, I'm going to slap the shit out of you and he's so serious, you know not to kind of play. You see what I'm saying? So you gain respect and honor any old ways, you know what I'm saying? And that's just something that you have to learn growing up as a man. And that's something I had to learn by myself, you know what I'm saying? Picking up this book, The 48 Laws of Power and shit like that. Always say less than necessary, you know what I'm saying? And use your respect as honor, you know what I'm saying? Use your word as respect and honor, you know what I mean? Because people will then respect you, you know what I'm saying? People didn't respect me as much when I was the clown kid. They didn't when I was a younger kid. Not saying that people were running over me and talking over me or doing whatever. That was never the case. But as I got older, I realized your word means everything, bro. Like, you have to stand on that shit regardless. So... If he says, or if I say I'm going to slap the shit out of you, I better go do that. And I know I will go do that because I don't play around no more. I'm not over here shooting jokes with random people and shit, flaming teachers and flaming everyone around the way. Nah, if you my homie, if you my homie yeah, you'll get your ass cooked up too. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But just as you get older, this is why people play with other people. And this is where humans or men don't understand. This is where your respect and honor comes from. This is why people get bullied. This is why people don't get respect because if you say you was going to go hurt this person if he doesn't stop talking or if you're going to go do something and you don't do it, you just, we look at you as phony. A human's going to look at you as a, a phony human, someone who lies. And in my words, I call him a prankster. That's what I call damn near everything that just be bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? If I see you as a human that be bullshitting, He's a prankster. He's not serious about what he's talking about. If a prankster, someone that I deem as a prankster said he's going to hurt me, I know you're playing. And I look at you in your eyes and call you a bitch again just because I know you're not going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not to be a dickhead, but that's just what it is. But that's where you have to realize that your word really means everything. If a bully, right, for example, you know what I'm saying? I never understood the bully shit because at that point when someone playing with you like that, you just got to act. You just got to do something like... I don't know, you know what I'm saying? If I was getting bullied in school, this is why they bring the uh, the school snipers, the school shooters and shit. If I was getting bullied in school, I ain't going to lie to you, I, I would have to bring a bat. I would have to bring something to school just to get this dude off my dick. You see what I'm saying? Where, you know you know what I'm saying? If you ever watch those shows or those movies where the bullies like, give me your lunch money. I look at him like, yo, shut your dumb ass up. You ain't getting shit, bitch. And I'm slapping the shit all over right there. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? You always see those movies. But a lot of people, this is their real life, you know what I'm saying? And it might not be that way, you know what I'm saying? There might be a group of people, maybe in high school, playing with you or trying to, like, play with y'all. But it's the action that if you do say, like, I'm going to hurt you or slap the shit out you, as a male figure, you have to respect it. And the only way to respect that if that is that if they pass that line and they keep doing what you say that you're going to do something for you and you act upon it, even if you lose a fight, even if you get your shit stomped out, whatever it is, you still acted on your word. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to think twice then with playing with you because they, you, they know you're going to act upon it. But if you keep saying, well, I'm going to do something or whatever, whatever, and you just don't do it, they're going to get stepped on. This is where the lack of respect comes from, that your man, your word as a man actually means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you have to be the most serious dude and everything like that, but you have to stand on your word. No matter what you're saying, you have to realize that your words hold power. People don't understand this. A lot of people really don't get this. Your words hold power. This is why even what you say about yourself, it is a very big thing. They say something about jokes stem from truth or whatever the fuck. This is why you shouldn't be joking about yourself in a negative way. Never put anything or say anything about yourself in a negative way. I don't care what it is. And this is what a lot of humans won't understand. You are what you say you are. You see what I'm saying? This unlocks natural power. Not a, not as long, not only as a man, but it will build who you are. This is why affirmations actually work. People try to shit on affirmations. But your words is a mere example of who you are and what you stand on. You see what I'm saying? If you say you are great, like I tell myself 
every fucking video damn near in every video and if you know me if you're a fan of me you know I, how i talk about myself and how i expect y'all to talk about yourselves too that you are great you should only be saying good positive things about yourself that's the only way to really elevate yourself anyways to take yourself to the next level okay it's cool it's keeping my head i do believe i'm a great person no i am a great person i am one of the ones i will be a millionaire whatever y'all done heard it but you should always have a good example of who you are in your mind you are what you say you are if you're a great human being you will start to act like a great human being you start to help that old lady bring the groceries to her car you know what i'm saying you'll put her card away you will you'll start to donate to the homeless like that's actually something all I, that i did within this past three days that's crazy but not to put myself on the pedestal but if i do believe i'm a great human being i'm going to act like it i'm going to treat myself like it i'm going to put only good food in my body so i can feel like it you see what i'm saying all of it stems from your your words you are what you say you are so if you say i am a low human being i'm ugly i'm fat i'm out of shape that is how you will feel about yourself this is what some people really don't understand higher thoughts and higher belief system equals a higher person Lower thoughts, a lower belief system equals a lower person. So your words hold powerful meaning of who you are. If I say I am a loser, I'm going to actually start feeling like it. I might start moving like it. I might hold myself like a self-esteem as a loser. Excuse me, you see what I'm saying? But if I say I'm great with a smile on my face, it enlivens me. It gives me more power as a man. This is where your power stems from. It can be turned on, especially when you're feeling good. You get a haircut, right? You look in the mirror, you're like, damn, I look good as hell. I'm one of them ones. I'm stepping outside like I'm him. But then you don't get a haircut, right? I don't got a haircut, but I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm an ugly motherfucker. I, I'm this, that, whatever the fuck. Patrick's still Patrick regardless. I'm great without a haircut. I'm great with a haircut. I'm great with a bitch. I'm great without a bitch. I'm great with my YouTube. I'm great without it. I'm great with everything because that's the only thing I will allow in my mind. Positive thoughts, higher belief systems, higher ways that you view yourself and say it out loud is what will manifest within your real life. Meaning, the more greater thoughts that you have is your basic outcome. Understanding that the laws of nature will give it to you once you start to demand it as well. That's something that I just learned within my manifestation game is the world, the, your words and as you demand what you want of this world. You know what I'm saying? I read this book called uh, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. And he says you should demand what you want in your prayers as well. That's something that I had to like understand and learn. I was like, wait, you know, I'm over here demanding God for what I want and shit like that. But that's his philosophy. But even within not praying, you just demand, I will be a millionaire, motherfucker. Everyone, they're going to give me what I need. Like, you know what I'm saying? The laws of nature is going to align with me. And I'm going to keep putting in this work so I can get what I want. Understanding that you are what you say you are. The higher belief system that you have as a human, the higher person that is. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell y'all, y'all got to think yourselves as a king. You know what I'm saying? Move like a king. Move like a god. You know what I'm saying? The higher belief system, the higher better, and the higher and the better you will feel about yourself, the more confidence you'll get, the more confidence you will radiate towards other people. You'll feel better about yourself. Your self-esteem will go up as well. It's only better things when you think more positive. But when you say negative things out loud, and truly believe them and say i am a loser i am a, a lame i'm not one of them ones i'm not happy i'm i'm sad i'm depressed that's going to be your main outcome of your life even when i'm going through say let's say you were to go through a depression state understanding that's all a mindset shift you have to shift your mindset that's why i would never even say that out loud but most people they're always saying well i'm depressed i'm sad that's the only outcome that you will get from your life you know what I'm saying? Even when you say you're sick, that's another thing Napoleon Hill said as well. It's crazy. This is a crazy one too. When you say you're sick, that's the only outcome that you have to get old, like to be, to be, you see what I'm saying? You're only going to be sick if you keep saying I'm sick. I'm sick as fuck. I'm not feeling healthy or I'm not feeling as good. You just have to shift your mindset. I'm not sick no more or I'm not sick at all. You know what I'm saying? It will shift and slowly you will start to heal faster. It's actually really crazy because your mind is demanding something else. And the laws of nature bring it. It's crazy. If you keep saying I'm sick, I, I, I will never get cured or whatever the fuck. 
that is going to be your mindset and your outcome of your life. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy how that works. But your words are truly powerful and you have to be careful. Never say anything to hinder yourself. Never say anything to lower yourself. Higher thoughts, higher person. That's it. Think positive thoughts. Even when you're sad, say, no, I'm happy. I'm grateful for this. And it will shift your mindset. The clip that I left came from a movie called The Godfather. And if they try to take up my clip, I'm going to briefly explain it, right? So it's some dude from Las, Las Vegas named Mo Green. And he one of the big homie top promoters out there that get money out there. And Mike Corleone, who's about to be the big homie, basically the mafia boss, he's about to step into line because his father is sick and he about to die. You see what I'm saying? And he basically, Mo Green ends up dissing um, Mike Corleone and every one of the Cor Corleone family saying that they about to get ran out of town and everything like that. And he asks, dude, is that why you talk to my brother the same way that, you know what I'm saying, you slap up my brother and play around with him? And he said, I had to slap him up basically because, you know what I mean? I had to straighten him out. And then Mike was like, you have to straighten him out. You know what I'm saying? Just from your tone and how you move him, your word, and why your word means everything, is to see if people will actually know if you step correct or not. You know what I'm saying? Not letting things go across your boundaries, right? And obviously, this is the mafia. They not playing around. You see what I'm saying? The mafia bosses, they stay real quiet. They don't play. But when they speak, their words hold power. Their, their words hold meaningful meaningful power. So when they do speak, everyone's listening to them. You know what I'm saying? And that all stems from your power and your belief in who you are as a person as well. If you want to be a great leader, you have to act upon the things that you say. You have to stand 10 toes down on whatever you believe in. That's just what it is. So he's like, is that why you talking to my brother like that? Or you had to straighten him out? <sighs> yo, the silence in that room. Like, it's like, yo, the energy shifted. It's about to get cracking at that point. Because the mafia leaders, they know that you can't play. You know what I'm saying? If they make a threat, they make a threat, and that threat stands. You know what I'm saying? If they say, I'm going to go make a hit on someone, bitch, they going to do it. <laughs> they going to have someone do it. That, that dude's going to end up dying. You see what I'm saying? And his older brother, after the fact, comes and talks to his brother. He basically tries to check Mike. And Mike is next in line of being the big homie, the big, basic, the big basically the mafia boss. He's in line to becoming the mafia boss. And his brother tries to come and check him his name is fredo he tried to come check him like do you know who you were talking to yada 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 like don't come over here and try to talk to him like that and he's like and mike says something very valuable he's like i love you bro but don't ever go against the, the family don't ever put your word against the family no matter what it is and i was like damn that's a fucking bar like that's a fact because you're never supposed to go against your own you see what i'm saying so within that clip whatever words he said it stood. You see what I'm saying? That one bar. Fredo, you know I love you. But never go against your family. Like, that's a fact. That's a bar. And that stood on everything. You know what I mean? And they're all, they're also the mafia. You see what I'm saying? So, th this dude got power, but the mafia really got power as well. And that's what he's trying to explain to him. Like, yo, do not go against us. If you go against us, you're... You know what I'm saying? That person who's not with me is against me. You see what I'm saying? That's even in the Bible. I forgot the exact quote. The who is not with me is against me, I believe. That's what it's called. So, you know what I'm saying? Your words hold power. Your words are powerful as fuck. It's the way you want to use them. It's the way in your tone. If you're angry and you show it in your tone, you're serious. But if you don't act upon what you say you're going to do or something's going to happen or yada, 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 you're just a phony. You're a clown. Everyone's going to see you as a clown. But do they see the mafia's boss as a clown? Fuck no. They know not to play with Mike. Mike is not playing with no one out this bitch. You see what I'm saying? So when he says something, he says something. He's staying 10 toes down. Whatever he says he got to do, whatever happens, happens. And that's that. You see what I'm saying? So I love you, bro. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys. Right here for you guys so that if you missed upon that, go watch that video. And stay yourself. Stay 300. And whatever you're doing, like, trust me, I believe in you, bro.